Hello class, uh, welcome to a video on homework help. Uh, let's go ahead and jump in with the first question. Franklin is on the wrestling team. This season he had F pins. His friend Martin had four less uh, than double the pins that Franklin had. His teammate Brody had one fewer pin than Franklin. His other teammate Derek had twice as many pins as Brody. Uh, in the table below, write an algebra expression in terms of F. That represents how many pins each person had in this season. <coughs> So Franklin is on the wrestling team, the season he had F pins. So our answer for how many pins that Franklin had is simply F as given inside the question. Now, his friend Martin had four less than double the pins Franklin had. Remember how we said that anything that happens after the word than has to happen first inside our algebraic expression in terms of order of operations. So we know that double the pins Franklin had has to have first doubling means multiplying by 2. So that's 2F. Because the words double the pins that Franklin and Franklin had F pins. So therefore we have 2F. That has to happen first. Then what happens before the word than has to happen second, which is 4 less. So that is minus 4 because that is 4 less than this. This has to come first. Uh, next it says that Brody had one fewer pin than Franklin. So we have to go back to Franklin and referring to Franklin. Franklin had F, so therefore Brody had one fewer pin, which means F minus 1. Uh, their other teammate Derek had twice as many pins as Brody. So we're going to have to multiply Brody's expression by 2. And remember, when we're multiplying the previously used expression, we have to put that in parentheses because we are multiplying all of Brody's amount. The next question says, uh, if Franklin had six pins this season, how many pins did each person have this season? Write your answer in the table below. We are simply going to substitute 6 in for F. And if we do 6 in for F under Martin's expression, we get 2 times 6, which is 12. 12 minus 4, which is 8 pins. Please use units because we are evaluating a word problem. For Brody, Brody had F minus 1, so we're going to do 6 minus 1, which is 5 pins. For Derek, we're going to put 6 in right here. 6 minus 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. Overall, Derek had the most pins out of all of them, followed by Martin, followed by Franklin, and then followed by uh, Brody. The next question. Danielle sells slices of pizza and hot dogs as local school's football games. Uh, she made $399 selling pizza slices. If pizza slices cost P dollars each, create an expression that represents how many slices Danielle sold at the game in terms of P. So, uh, if I were to tell you that she sold each one for, let's say, uh, a dollar. If she made $399 uh, selling slices of pizza and each pizza slice cost a dollar, we would know that she sold 399 slices of pizza because we would do 399 divided by 1, which is 399. However, we are not given that information. We are told that it's not $1, it is P dollars. So we're going to do the exact same thing except instead of 1. I'm going to replace it with P. So if we were 1, you 399 divided by 1. But if we do not have 1, we have P. So we're going to replace that with P. That expression represents how much, excuse me, uh, how many slices of pizza she has uh, sold. So amount of pizza. So I'm going to write that right here so I don't get that confused before anything else. She made S dollars less selling hot dogs compared to pizzas. Create an expression in terms of S that represents how much money she made selling hot dogs at the game. So she made S dollars less selling hot dogs. Which means that she took, she uh, made $399 making, uh, selling pizza. If she made $10 less selling hot dogs, she would have made This amount of money selling hot dogs, but we don't have 10. We doesn't say 10. So therefore we're gonna replace it with what it does say. It says that she made S 
dollars less, so it's going to be 399 minus S. That is how much money she made selling hot dogs. If she sold hot dogs, each hot dogs that night, and create an expression in terms of S and H that represents the cost of hot dogs. So, we need to use S and H in our expression. Uh, so, if she sold that many hot dogs, uh, let's say that she made $300 selling hot dogs, and she sold 150 of them. That would mean that we know that each hot dog costs two dollars because we would do three hundred divided by one hundred and fifty. That would be the amount of hot dogs uh, divided by the, uh, me, the money made from hot dogs divided by the number of hot dogs we've done. However, we do not have that information, so we have expressions instead. So instead of three hundred dollars being used for how much money we made from hot dogs, we don't have. A specific number, but rather we have an expression, oh, which is up here. This is the amount of money made from hot dogs. So we're going to take the amount of money made from hot dogs, put that in parentheses, and we're going to divide it by the uh, number of hot dogs that we sold, but we don't have a specific number, we only have a variable. So therefore, this is going to be 399s, oh, excuse me, 399 minus s divided by 8. And this represents the cost of a single hot dog. So, if the cost of pizza is $3 each, how many slices did she sell at that game? So remember that in our first expression, we said the amount of pizza sold is 399 divided by P, where P is the price of pizza. We are now given P. P is 3, so therefore we need to do 399 divided by 3. Because P is 3 now. And when we evaluate that out, we can use a calculator for that, or we can use law division we get 133, 133 slices. That is how many slices she sold that game. And she made $45 less selling hot dogs compared to pizza. How much money did she make selling hot dogs? We have an expression for that. The expression is right here, the amount of money made from uh, hot dogs was 399 minus S, we are not given S, which is 45. So now we know that we have to do 399 minus 45, excuse me, 49, uh, which gets us $350. If she sold 175 hot dogs that night, how much did, she, uh, did each hot dog cost? Uh, so we now have to take the price, or the money that we made from selling hot dogs, divide by the number of hot dogs that we made, which gets us uh, 350 divided by 175 hot dogs being made. This is the amount made from hot dogs, this is the amount of hot dogs we sold. So therefore we get $2 each. Always be using the information from previous questions to help you out and be aware of what each question is asking and where it's referencing. Okay. Is it referencing Franklin or is it referencing Martin? Okay. Uh, try out the last question on your own. Have a good night.